Your thoughts on the Prime Minister tonight? Should he stay or should he go? Well, I can tell you that earlier on today, I went to the funeral of a very long-standing councillor in my constituency. Much loved, not just because of his work as a councillor and as a mayor, but also because of what he did in the community more broadly in family and friends. And a lot of the talk um, was about his deep integrity and the, what that means to people in this country, not just in my constituency, but across the country. And I think that what's been very sad over the recent allegations about um, the former Deputy Chief Whip and other things that have happened over recent weeks that I just don't think the Prime Minister any longer has not just my support, but he doesn't have, I don't think, the support of the party or indeed the country anymore. And I think for that reason, uh, he should step down. You're a Vice Chairman of, yes. of the Conservative well, probably not, Party. Probably not after having said that, but yes. All right. Well, let's see if you retain your position. You're not resigning as Vice Chair of the Well, no, look, Party. I think, I have to, I think you, you have to resign. Right? You have to resign uh, because I can't serve um, right. under the Prime Minister. But I say that with regret because I think this government's done some great things. I think the Prime Minister's got a very strong legacy in a huge range of areas. But I just think that uh, when you've lost trust um, of people, uh, and the Prime Minister asked at the confidence vote to be given time to restore that trust. And I, I took that, um, as many others did in the party. But I think it's become clear, particularly after losing the support of two of his sort of closest cabinet colleagues, that I think the, you know, the time has come for him to stand down.